Okay, so here we have part five. We're just gonna be refining a few things and also adding in those materials and just a little basic scene here to do a quick render. So uh, let's get into that. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add some basic materials to this guy. So what we're gonna do is come over here to our render settings. We wanna make sure the render engine is set to Eevee. You can use cycles if you want. I'm just gonna use it as Eevee. We're gonna enable ambient occlusion and just screen space reflections. Really basic stuff. Then we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna add in a plane. And with this plane, we're gonna go S8 to scale it up eight times. Then we're gonna tab into edit mode, go to the edge select, just select the edge at the back here and go E, Z and just extrude it up. Then I'm gonna select this edge here, go Control B and create a bevel. Just roll in with your mouse some geometry, click it in, tab out of edit mode, go to object and enable shade smooth. You can go SX if you want and make it a little bit wider. Okay, then we're gonna go Shift A, add in a light, just an area light. G, Z, move it up to about here. Go to your cam light settings and we're gonna increase the power to 270. Hit enter. And we're gonna increase the size to about three meters. Go to your right orthographic view, R, to rotate it in a bit, move it forward. Hit zero or add a camera. So shift A, add in a camera. G, Z, to move the camera up. Go to your right orthographic view, G, Y, move it out a bit to here. Hit zero to go into your camera view with your camera selected. Then you can go R, X, rotate it down a bit, and then G, Z to move your camera up. We're gonna to go to our um, output settings. Under the resolution, we're gonna make the Y 1920 as well. That's gonna give us a square aspect ratio. Then we're gonna to go to our camera settings. We're gonna make the focal length 85. We're gonna hit enter. And then with that camera selected, you can go G and hold in your middle mouse wheel. Just pull back. Just get something that you like. And what I'm gonna do is select the character rig over here. And we're just gonna to go to our pose mode. Very simple, just go into wireframe if you want. Select the hand on the left. I'm gonna go R just to rotate it down a bit, G, move it to here. And we're just giving this guy a pose like this. And because we have have those naming conventions with the dot L, if we go Control C and then go Control Shift and V, it'll po mirror that pose over to the other side as well of that bone. So if we go into our camera view now, we go into solid, we can see this. And it looks a little bit too stiff, so we can grab this upper control here, go R, and then G, just move it up a bit. And then with that guy selected, go Control C, and then Control Shift V, just to paste it on the other side. And then we can always grab his little eye, um, eye controller here for his eyelid, just bring it up a little bit and then give him a bit of a smile on this side and open up his mouth a bit. Just give him a pose. And then go back into object mode, go into your camera view. Let's hit Z and let's go into render it and let's see what this looks like. Now guys, looking pretty cool. We can also just come here and just hide our rig as well under the scene collections because we created that, um, that collection for it in part four. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, just add in some more lights. So select this light. We're just duplicating it. So we're gonna go Shift D, move one over to the left here, rotate it towards a character. Shift D, move one over here, and then rotate it in this way. So we're just creating a basic three point lighting setup. So go into your camera view again, Z rendered. And you can bump the strength up, up a little bit if you want. Just mess around with it, get some lights that you like. Keeping things basic here. So let's just add some basic materials. So we're gonna select our little guy here, go into our shading, Make sure to go back into the camera, hit Z, go rendered. And let's go down to the material tab and let's start with the bread here. So this isn't meant to be photorealistic, so we're not gonna be doing any textures. It's just gonna be basic flat shading or very basic limited shading, I should say. So we're gonna go with kind of like what I would think is a nice kind of like brown bread color. Look at some references, get a color palette if you like. I'm just gonna go with this one here. Just a light kind of brown, very, very light, almost cream. We're gonna go to the crust. We're gonna make the crust obviously a lot darker. We're gonna bring the, ref the roughness up on that a little bit. And also maybe with the bread, just bring the roughness up on that a bit as well. Then we're gonna select the lips and we're gonna make them a nice kind of pink, kind of almost salmon. Just mess around with it till you get something that you like. I'm gonna bring the roughness down on that to bring it, make it a little bit more reflective. Then with the mouth, we're gonna come here and we're gonna make the mouth, um, it's like a darker kind of red, almost like that. And we're gonna bring the roughness all the way up to one. It doesn't really matter, we're not gonna be seeing in there much. Maybe bring the roughness in a bit. 
just something you like. Then we're going to select the pupils here of the eyes and we're just going to make it black. Bring down that roughness as well a little bit. Then select the actual eye and we're going to leave this white but bring down the roughness all the way so it's completely reflective. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the materials. We could select the legs here. Go to your modifiers and on top of the subdivision surface modifier we're going to add a um, not the on top of the armature we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier so it's going to be sitting right underneath here it's going to smooth those legs out a bit and here we have our character so let's just select our backdrop here let's just go new create a new material for that we're going to call it bg for background and let's just come here and make it i don't know get a color if you like i like blues so i'm going to go over blue and I think we can come to our world. You guys don't have to do this. I'm just going to do it because I like it. I'm just going to add in a HDRI. So I'm going to go to my world settings here. And I'm just going to quickly add in an environment texture, open. And there's plenty of free HDRIs online. Just get one that you like. And I'm just going to bump the strength of this down um, just a little bit. So here we have our character looking really cool. And um, I think this brown could be made a little bit more brown, a little bit more toasty. Maybe I'll bring the roughness in a bit. Yeah, totally mess around with the stuff as much as you want, but I'm just going to leave the materials at this. And let's just do a little bit more refining where we can. So one thing I'd like to refine, if you look at the pupils here, so let's just unhide our rig. So come to the scene collection, just unhide our rig. If we select the rig here, we just go into pose mode. This is select this main eye controller, go G and just move it over to the side. So go to camera view if you want. Just get like a look that looks natural. Like say for example, it's looking over to the side here. See, you get that kind of funny artifacting that happens with the shrink wrap. So what we can do is go back into our object mode, grab the eyes here and just give them a subdivision surface modifier as well. And now it's a lot smoother. So this guy, if we go back into pose mode and we grab this eye control, and we move him around, you can see that looks a lot smoother. It looks a lot better than before. So I'm just gonna actually pose mine about here, grab this mouth, open that up a little bit more, maybe make this side smile as well. Um, just try out different things, um, you know, maybe make one arm not exactly the same as the other one. Bring this one in a bit. And by the way, I'll quickly show you what you can do with the fingers here. If we actually went and we just selected all of these fingers, right? If you select all the fingers. If you go over here, make sure we're in individual origins. If you go R double X, Okay, so R double Z, they'll all rotate on their own local Z. You can make the hand go in like this. So R double Z and they'll all go on a local Z axis. So you can get the hand, hand to do this and that's when you have um, individual origins enabled. And with all of those finger bones selected, you can go Control C and then Control Shift V and it'll do it on the other side as well. If you wanted to do that. I might just come here with the other side and make it a little bit less. So R, double tap R and then Z. Uh, R and double tap Z. Bring them out a bit. Just mess around with it. Get something you like with the feet. Um, maybe grab his his uh, hips here. Go rotate him off to the side a bit so he's not 100% standing up straight. Grab the body here. Rotate it in a bit. Grab the head. Rotate it a bit. And then grab one leg. Maybe. G, move it forward a bit, move it to the side a bit, out more. Just get a pose that kind of looks natural, makes them look cool. Maybe grab that hip here, go R, Z, rotate it a little bit. You say it looks like he's about to walk off somewhere. Just make it look cool, you know? Totally up to you guys. I might do an animation tutorial on this one of these days, but just keeping things basic here. Go back into object mode, and um, this is going to our render to see what that looks like. Yeah, it's looking really cool. You can also select your camera, go R, Z, and rotate it off to the side. G, X, and move it in a bit. So it just makes your camera um, not 100% straight on at your cap character. But yeah, that's about it. So with the materials, like I said, I'm not going to touch too much on that. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this um, the bread here is a little bit too white, so I'm going to go to the bread. Maybe make it a little bit more toasty. I don't know, just like whole, whole grain. This is going to be a healthy loaf of bread. And um, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Also, with the character, if you just selected, make sure the subdivision surface modifier is actually um, below the armature there as well. But yeah, this has been the tutorial. This is part five where we finish and refine things. 
And I hope you guys have been able to follow along. Like I said, all of these different stages are going to be avail available in one um, file. We're going to have all the five blend files. You guys can check them out if you want to buy them. They'll be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Show me what you've made on Instagram.